Thanks for joining us on Commonwealth Pickle. We're on location today. I've never done something like this on the channel before, but I was so intrigued a few weeks ago with a place that I found here in Bedford, brand new, um, sort of brand new. It was open in another location, but it's open in a, in a different location now after a year hiatus. And I liked it so much that I thought I'd uh, give you all a little tour of it uh, and encourage you to come on by Bedford and do a little antiquing, not just at this place, but a few other places down the road that you could make a great day of it now this this location here which i'll show you today is just one of those places but it is a great little place and it's it's owned by a couple that was very kind to me um, when i called up and i said i'm gonna go check this place out and i thought i'd show it to you it's also by a nice little restaurant that i like it's a great place to come make a day of this um, and go to a couple other antique shops here in bedford and visit maybe the d-day memorial Green's Pharmacy, for those of you who don't know, this, this little town here um, where the Bedford boys are from on D-Day lost more per capita than any place in the country. And there's some neat little places you can come by and make a great day of it. So let's go on and take a look at Dirt Road Treasures. All right, y'all, I'm just going to take you through this little tour. But before we go inside to Dirt Road Treasures here, I want to show you a great place. If you come on by to visit, you can come on and and eat and drink you got uh, this Beals brewery here which is expanding to a couple different locations but it's a massive brewery you got to go in there and check it out and have barbecue as well let's go on in dirt road treasures Y'all, so I'm gonna give you a little tour. But the thing that I like the most about this place when it opened, besides its incredible location here, is the fact that it's not just a pure antique shop. This has got some interesting, a kind of an eclectic feel to it. It's got some new stuff. It's got almost got every something for everybody, uh, even some some handcrafted stuff by one of the owners. And it's definitely uh, what I would call eclectic. Now in Bedford Falls. Um, it's not Bedford Falls, it's Bedford, but Christmas Town, you know. Um, at any rate, I'm going to just walk you around with uh, some audio, sometimes with no audio, and let you take a look. Uh, another thing I like so much is the prices. This is not an antique mall. This is, everything here is owned um, by these good folks, and the prices are pretty good. I, you can come here and you can do um, some picking and even... Um, do some flipping and you know a lot of antique places you can't do much flipping and they run sales from time to time they had 20% off not too long ago um, and really have some great stuff so I'm gonna stop this for one second and let some of this run with no voice in the background and we'll talk to you in a little bit but I want you to get a full feel of the kind of things you can find here.
find you. Stand up and swear if you get buried. So, just so you know, there's more where that came from. That's uh, all the stuff that eventually is going to end, end up out here. They say they're going to open this side. Hey, just want to tell you thanks for joining us. And before we leave, there was uh, no sponsorship on this video. I just like this place enough that I uh, thought y'all should come on down and check it out. Um, and while you're down here, have a beer uh, next door maybe and make a day of it and go across town and go to Bridge Street and check out those antique malls over there. And if you come, don't forget to go to Green's Drugstore for sure. Um, or check out the D-Day Memorial if you want to make a, a weekend of it. There's some great antiquing, good enough antiquing, good enough prices that you can uh, definitely uh, get some deals even for you resellers out there and might even find a few things that you can resell at this place or the other places uh, across town. But definitely a, a cool place that, that y'all should come and go uh, check out down here. Um, don't forget if you like the program, hey, subscribe below, check out some of the other content, and uh, don't forget to uh, ring the bell up there and leave your comments below. If there's anything interesting you thought you, you saw on the video in there, let me know what it was. All right, or if you think there's anything I could resell, let me know what it was. All right, thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.